Welcome back to Telltale Books. This video, I'm going to start, well, kind of go back and, and begin at the beginning with William Hope Hodgson. We've already done three different videos on William Hope Hodgson, um, starting with House on the Borderland. That was the first thing I had ever read by Hodgson, and it just blew me away. Emily, too. We both read it. Then we both read The Voice in the Night and The Voice in the Dawn for Halloween month last month. Um, and that, when we were doing those, um, the choice of those two stories were because she had a book that had those stories in. She doesn't have the complete works of William Hope Hodgson. So... Uh, when we were doing those, I was thinking, I want to go back and read all the Hodgson I can get a hold of. And I do have the complete series of the collected fiction of William Hope Hodgson. So um, I'm going to go through these and read it all. Going back and reading in order of publication everything I can find by William Hope Hodgson fiction. Starting with The Goddess of Death, his first published short story, published in the Royal Magazine in April of 1904. So this is contemporary with H.G. Wells. The uh, synopsis of this story is that there's a series of strangulations in a small town. And these two guys come to this, to this town and they get chased by something. Which, talking to the townspeople, the townspeople are telling him it's a statue that's chasing them. So they are in, interested in this and they want to investigate. And so they do investigate and they, they do find out that there's a statue in a park of an evil looking woman that seems to come alive at night. And when this statue comes alive, when this statue is seen running around the town... The next morning, somebody always turns up strangulated. So, this time period, okay, remember, this is the time period when Sherlock Holmes stories were being published. And if you do some digging, you're going to find out that there were actually a lot of these kinds of detective stories. Not just Sherlock Holmes, but a lot of other people that were writing these detective stories like this. Very much in the this vein of Sherlock Holmes. And these were very popular. Very popular in the, in the uh, inexpensive... Um, inexpensive magazines of the time where H.G. Wells was publishing it at the same time. Um, and so there were a lot of different writers, most of whom are not so well known today, that if you do some digging, you'll come across a lot of them that wrote these kinds of detective stories. And William Hope Hodgson started his writing career doing one also. It's It's very much in the vein of um, the Hound of the Baskervilles type detective mystery. But well, I haven't actually read any Sherlock Holmes. I've seen movies of Sherlock Holmes. Um, this story is a, not as good as the movies of Sherlock Holmes. So I imagine the actual stories of Sherlock Holmes just blow this story out of the water. But I, but still I enjoyed it. Very short story. Really good for an author's very first time getting published. Really good story. Not a top tale, but if you like William Hope Hodgson or if you like the early English detective stories of around the turn of the century. I think you'll like this story. So I would say give it a try. And that begins 
my exploration of William Hope Hodgson. Um, of course, yeah, this this isn't the exact volume that it's in, um, though they all look, they all have the same cover. This volume is actually the Ghost Pirates and other revenants of the sea. It's all sea sea horror stories, and so the number two story is in here called a tropical horror which I'm looking forward to. And that'll be my next William Hope Hodgson video. Not sure when I'll get to that because I got so many authors that I'm doing this with now all simultaneously. I, I just got stacks of books here, short story collections, because most of them wrote short stories to begin with. Um, so, till next time, like us and subscribe to us. Leave comments. How much Hodgson have you read? How much have you liked William, William Hope Hodgson? Am I going to love or regret reading all the rest of his works? I think I'm going to love it. I, the, this is number four for, for me, for William Hope Hodgson, and I have enjoyed all of them. So but leave comments and come back for the rest of our videos, all the videos we do. More William Hope Hodgson, more H.G. Wells, more Harlan Ellison, more J.G. Ballard, more Philip K. Dick. We're deeply into the work of Philip K. Dick, even though we're still stuck in 1953. He wrote a lot in 1953. Um, we've got the preserving machine coming up for Philip K. Dick. It's one of his major short stories. So come on back for more.